Nigerian Communication Commission NCC has said that customer satisfaction is very vital to the success and growth of the telecommunication industry. The Commission also said it will not relent effort to ensure that customers are treated with utmost respect and attention through resolution of complaints. The Executive Commissioner, Stakeholders Management, Barista Adeleke Hadewodu, who represented the Executive Vice Chairman of the Commission, Professor Umao Dambata, said putting customers at the very heart of service delivery is essential to the growth of the industry. While addressing newsmen in Abuja, during the presentation of the final report on compliance categories and service level agreement, Adewodu said customers must be informed of each and failures by telecom operators, saying that their challenges must be resolved with the least possible delay and that customers should be appropriately compensated for service failures and delays as necessary. Operators. Essentially what we're trying to say is that if a particular incident happens in the service provision and a customer feels dissatisfied with the service they've received. Yeah? Then incident by incident, we try to look at the various you know, categories of incident. I think you had about 133 different complaint types. And then we then agreed with the industry, represented by Alton, what should happen in relation to that complaint. And we've looked at under the old regime, I think the, the, the previous categories were set out in 2008, which is about 11 years ago. And obviously the industry was still in its infancy in Nigeria at that stage. So what we try to do is to now say, okay, now with these kind of complaints happening at the present time, we would expect, expect in, a, in a particular scenario, we would expect a response to be given maybe within two hours, or within four hours, or within 24 hours. Yeah? That's like the first level of response. Yeah? And thereafter, if it's not resolved within the, at the first level, then it's then escalated to the second level. And then again, there's a time standard for that to be resolved. We've also taken it further to mean that where the complaint yeah, is dealt with, what we expect to be a, a satisfactory outcome for the customer. Yeah? And in the event, which we hope will be few, where the complaint is not resolved, we've also put in there what would be the possible um, penalty which the Commission may look to ex exert upon the um, operator where the complaint is not resolved. So that's essentially what we have presented today. So that, that exercise took about two years, and what we've now done, we've now got an agreement, yeah? and that's what we've presented today. Yes, the Director of Consumer Affairs Bureau of the NCC, Mrs. Felicia Omoguchelam, said banks are responsible for financial loss of their customers. Um, it's well uh, known that January 2019, we had a forum on e-fraud, and uh, we had uh, quite a number of resolutions among which is that banks are responsible for the protection of uh, funds of their customers. And if anybody loses money via e-fraud, the banks take responsibility. And that is in operation as of today. But further to that, a lot of work has gone on between NCC and other stakeholders which include the CBN, the banks, the security agents. And exactly this time next week, on the 14th of uh, November, uh, the committee that is going to drive the outcome of that stakeholder engagement we have in, uh, in January this year will be inaugurated in this same place next week. Uh, more information as to what had happened between then and now, and what is expected of the committee will be made public on that day. In attendance were top executive of the commission, consumer advocacy groups, stakeholders in the communication technology, 
and principal partners. News of